Welcome on board this beautiful Columbia 34, over 10 meters long and three meters wide. Spacious, very open, very easy to get around. You can see here there's a beautiful area of at least eight to 10 people who can comfortably be entertained outside. Uh, you've got the solar panels there on the back, away from the boom, and there's infills here that cover the entire area, both the top and the sides. You'll notice here the boom is very, very high. Uh, so even if you're over six foot tall, you can be underneath sailing, not worried about anything hitting you. Uh, as you can see here, the boat is in a uh, beautiful part of Mosman Bay as well. So you can dive straight off the boat, straight from the mooring, go swimming, uh, have people over and entertain them. You can see a little private beach there that you can swim over to in the back area. Uh, the boat's got a swim ladder on the side and just here at the back there you can see also the, the swim deck that people can uh, climb up onto. Uh, so it's, it's certainly a, a sensational spot just to enjoy even uh, when you're not sailing and, and out and about. It's already a destination to actually go to. Um, when you look here, you can see the spray dodger that's there. The spray dodger is actually quite large. It unzips, uh, allows the air to flow through. But having a jumbo size spray dodger, although it does look a little bit different, it is absolutely worth it for the comfort. Now, as we look a little bit further on here, the rigging is only one year old. Uh, so we have a long time left um, for your insurance purposes uh, to be able to have all of that that's already been done. The base of the actual um, mast has been pulled out and the mast has been re-stepped and put back in at the same time, uh, which is fantastic, re-strengthened. You've got the boom bag, um, which makes it easy to unzip, pull up the, um, the, the sails and take off quite easily. Um, and at the front there, you've got the roller fur furling jib. Uh, there's a brand new tender as well here that um, comes along with the actual boat. It's included, um, quite light, lift it up, flip it off. Uh, you'll see here at the, the front of the boat, there's a brand new windless electric uh, winch there that's been installed. And so we, it, it certainly makes you know, using the boat and taking it out uh, very, very uh, simple and comfortable. Now, one of the, probably the easiest things about this boat for the size of the actual boat, it's easy to navigate. Everything's been set up, it's very simple to use, um, which obviously makes it just one of the most attractive things for the size and what you can enjoy. So heading inside now, or just inside the kitchen, Beautiful big fridge, a Bushman's 65 litre fridge. It's got a nice freezer as well. Uh, it can easily freeze ice blocks, uh, meat, anything that you want to have in there. Only uses one amp hour per hour. Uh, you've got the pantry underneath as well. That's the old fridge. So tons of storage there to be able to put food. Um, and then we've also obviously got still the, the typical drawers and uh, storage that are in there uh, behind and looking at the stove here as well, you've got two different gas burners, you've got a grill, and you've got a nice oven as well. So you can quite easily put a couple of medium-sized pizzas in there and cook them, or whatever it is that you feel like, or the kids feel like. It's very, very straightforward. And as you can see, the teak in the boat really is in, in great condition. Now, the actual couch that's just here to the side, uh, is, is very, very practical because it flips up into a bunk bed and they're very large bunk beds at that. So you've got a huge big lounge area to enjoy, but it also does flip up. And if you look at the photos um, that are also a part of the video and also on the listing, you'll see there how the actual bunk bed uh, flips up. So it's actually quite easy to use. Now up the front, we've got a huge double bed. We've just got different cargo nets and things clothes can be put in um, so there's plenty of room even if you're very tall and that's the beauty of this boat if you're over six foot you can walk very freely through the boat you'll be surprised when you get inside you will sort of might see the external part of the boat and sort of think mm. but the boat really is set up it's got 
um, hooks there to be able to install uh, a TV. Um, it's got the arms there, it's got USB ports there in the bedroom as well for charging. Uh, plenty of storage for clothes. Uh, things can be hung up quite easily there inside uh, of, the, of the storage units that are there. Um, and then moving back into the bathroom, uh, very nice, clean, comfortable little bathroom. It's got a shower and uses the floor of the bathroom as a shower base. And the toilet there is a new electric toilet that's been installed. So fantastic condition, press the button and flush. So everything is quite comfortable and easy to use. Now moving along to uh, also another area of storage, uh, which obviously makes it very practical. Again, you've got the area up the top here and also another clothes or whatever you wanted to put in there, storage area. It's actually three times, four times larger than the, the last compartment that you saw, uh, saw previously. Uh, so just allows for things to be kept nice and neat and tidy. Now looking at the main sort of galley area here, absolutely beautiful with all of the wood. You've got a nice area here where you can comfortably seat anywhere from eight, you could squeeze in 10. Uh, obviously tons of room if there's only six sitting in there, uh, but you've got the couch also behind it and that um, table there drops down into a double bed. So you've got you know even more area for comfort again. Underneath, additional USB points. You want them all over the boat. Everyone wants to charge their phones and laptops and you name it. So you've got USB-C and it's all there. Now having a look over here in the back corner in the aft here, there's another single bed if need be. Uh, and then on top here, you've got your navigation desk. It's great because you can store things in there or you can slide it across and obviously even store more in the back. Uh, and you've got a little storage there for maps and, and whatnot. Um, most popular generally to also the coffee machine live there most of the time, uh, because the good thing is with the coffee machine, you can put a pod machine or anything on in there uh, because there's a nice big brand new inverter uh, to be able to um, power it. And underneath there is we've got three 250 amp hour batteries. So 750 amp hours um, to charge anything for a very, very, very long time. And the electrical system and, and electrical dashboard there is in fantastic condition. So you're looking at a boat that has over 600 litres uh, of water storage, 120 litres uh, of fuel, and all around a lot of storage. Uh, recently been slipped and anti-fouled. Uh, you'll notice there's a lot of nice touch-ups, it's in very clean condition throughout the boat. And, you know, as stated previously, it's a, it's a very simple boat to enjoy. Um, even it has a Yanmar inboard engine, um, 35 horsepower, which just makes it nice to, to cruise around quite comfortably, you know, six, seven knots without really pushing it too hard. Obviously, it can go a little bit faster. Uh, so it's certainly something to to enjoy uh, either for a brief or a very long time. Uh, something that is well and truly big enough to even sail internationally, already set up to live on. So it's very easy to be a, a liveaboard, has been lived on, has everything that you would need to comfortably live on the boat. And so, yeah, we're absolutely sure that just as much as we have absolutely loved, absolutely loved the boat, uh, we're sure that the new owners as well are gonna really enjoy uh, this, this beautiful Columbia 34. So we look forward to getting in contact with you and please give us a call or drop us an email and we'll of course be able to set up a time to take you through.